Talking to a narcissist during and after divorce can be the hardest thing you ever learn how to do. Now add a time of crisis, major life change, or a pandemic like we're dealing with now, and you have a real struggle on your hands. Because I know how hard this is, today I'm going to share with you three tips that will help you to speak to a narcissist now and in the future. But first, hi, I'm Jen Grice, author of the book, You Can Survive Divorce. I'm a divorce mentor and empowerment coach. I teach women how to effectively talk to a narcissist during and after divorce and how to get what they need. You can find out more about my ministry, my coaching for women, and my book at jengrice.com. How to communicate with my ex-narcissist is one of those big questions that I hear often. When I coach a woman, I try to empower her to talk in a way that she can feel good about assertively and while doing the best that she can for herself rather than trying to appease her soon-to-be or ex-husband. A narcissist is selfish and is only thinking about themselves. So that's why it's important to be thinking about yourself and doing what's best for you so you can create a life as a single independent woman. Before I get to how to effectively communicate, let's talk for a second about how narcissists acts during a crisis, during the holidays, or when anything else major happens, like during a national disaster. Be sure to stick around to the end for the best advice I give my coaching clients. A narcissist who craves all the attention and supply will fight for everyone's attention. This could mean they go off into a corner to see who comes after them. They may even stomp away to get attention and then sit there with a sad face hoping someone is paying attention. When that doesn't work, they'll cause a scene or pick a fight to gain the attention and supply that they crave. Maybe you experienced this while marriage, so you know all too well. Another thing a narcissist might do is to offer to become the hero of the day by offering to help or come back to take care of you. Remember, he likes to have a woman on the back burner. Lately, I've read stories from so many ladies where the now ex-husband is wanting his ex-wife and children to come stay with him or offering to come stay with his ex-wife when he's never helped or offered anything in the past. Why is he all of a sudden offering? Like I mentioned in another recent video, because he wants to paint the picture that he's the savior coming in for the rescue. Who wouldn't say to him what a wonderful guy or dad you are for taking in your ex-family right now? Forget all the bad stuff he did before, the financial abuse, the gaslighting, and adultery. Nope, he's come to rescue you now. What a hero. That's what he's hoping that everyone will think, at least. So what else does a narcissist do besides pretending to care? and coming in to rescue. I've also been reading stories about how some have been turning their children or anyone else against them. The smear campaign or the lies have not stopped just because of something going on in the world. Since the narcissist needs to be the center of attention, they can't have anyone else giving you any attention. So they'll tell people to ignore you. This is especially true if you're facing some medical condition that you may need people's help with. I've also read this in a few groups lately. Kids checking in on the narcissist, but they don't check on their own mother. I found that very interesting because I've experienced that myself. I remember when I was married and if I got sick and wanted to go rest to try to feel better, if the kids wanted to come and check on me or to see how I was doing or just even to get, you know, something, visit with me, they were told to leave me alone, almost like a punishment because I was sick. But painted as... We're just thinking of you and taking care of you, so we leave you alone. It felt very isolating and like it was a punishment, that's for sure. When I recently asked other medically frail mothers how they were being treated during this time, they said they felt ignored. No one was checking on them or how they were doing, if they were even healthy or sick. I think this is exactly what the narcissist wants. He gets the attention, and mom, you, feels as though no one cares. If you're feeling that right now, I'm sorry. You are not alone. The last thing I have heard and noticed over the last couple weeks is that either the narcissist is fearful that he'll get sick, so he's super cautious, again, needy, when he's normally a healthy guy. Uh, I heard one woman say that her ex-husband would brag about how healthy he is any other day, but now he's kind of paranoid that he's going to get sick. 
And I don't mean in the normal way. I mean, he is asking for help that somebody with a chronic illness would need. Or on the flip side, that the narcissist who thinks he's above any rules or guidelines in place to protect people. He doesn't have to stay home because he won't get sick. Nothing can touch him. And the rules don't apply to him like they apply to everybody else because he's special. I know it's so frustrating to deal with. But you just have to remember, you're now divorcing or divorced. You only have to deal with him to get things accomplished and to talk to him about the children, if you have any. Put everything else aside and work on yourself. He will not heal you. Hear me again. This is important. He will not heal you. You have to heal yourself. So how do we talk to a narcissist, especially with all these things we're dealing with? I would say this over and over again. It's about the packaging. How do you package communication? Again, it's important to know these things I talked about in the beginning of this video so that you know that you don't have to take things personally. That would be tip number one. Don't take anything personally. It's not you, it's them. Do not even respond to anything you don't need to respond to. If he calls you names, no need to defend yourself. If he starts blaming you, just ignore it. It's not your job to, to try to convince him he's wrong about you. What he thinks or says doesn't matter to you. Once you fully accept that the narcissist is just looking for attention or reaction, it becomes easier to keep everything monotone and businesslike. You have to package it as though nothing he says or does is ever going to bother you. You're just trying to get business done and get what you need to survive. Tip number two, do not expect him to act the same way you do. You can only do what you can do to be the healthiest version of yourself and let others react or behave how they're going to behave. You invite people to be healthy when you're healthy and you're not a pushover when you don't succumb to their way of thinking and behaving. Say what you need to say. Most assertive way you know how. That's the packaging. Sometimes this means you give him credit when you don't think he deserves it. Maybe this means you say these are his two choices and let him decide. You may feel like you're giving up control, but you're actually winning by not arguing. It depends on your situation and your circumstances, but learn how to package things knowing that you and he think differently. Lastly, tip number three, know if he's going to get mad, he's going to get mad no matter what you say or do. So you just need to say it. Your job is no longer to make him happy. You don't have to continue to walk on eggshells. So package your words, how you talk to any other healthy person, and get what you need from your divorce and after. Remember, your job is to do what's best for you and your children, if you have any. Ask for help from a coach, or a licensed counselor if you need help with this. Packaging words in a way that a narcissist can accept them without reacting takes years of practice. So as you get started, start with very business-like and assertive speak. And the most important thing to remember is less is the best. The less you say when you ask or respond, the better things will go. Again, if you need a coach to help you communicate, my information is on my website at jengrice.com slash mentoring. I hope I empowered you in some way today. If you have any questions or like to share your story, please do so in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any new videos. I hope to see you in the next video. God bless.